can you uh, explain kind of franchise reason, reasoning for uh, waiving Kimba today? Yeah, I think uh, you know just looking at the the 10-day contracts, Kimba did everything we asked. He did. He was an incredible pro, uh, a vet in that locker room. Um, and, and there's no telling that our paths probably could cross again here in the, in the future uh, with the 10-day. But uh, as of right now, uh, we uh, look at having that roster spot open, flexibility. Um, maybe there's someone else out there that we might take a look at first uh, before revisiting, maybe bringing Kimma back. Hmm. Uh, what about what does this potentially mean for uh, other guys currently? Uh, playing time. Uh, when you look at Hardy, uh, AJ. Uh, you know, having those guys uh, play, you know, find those guys some minutes. How is your confidence in Jaden now versus, you know, a few months ago when he was going up and back and forth? What did you see from the group? Yeah, I think uh, just his work ethic, is, uh, he's been great for us uh, in practice. Um, I, you know, last night uh, you know, helps uh, see the way that he handled the end of the game um, by playing hard um, and with pace. And so uh, when you look at Hopefully trying to figure out how to get him some minutes here this weekend um, against uh, New Orleans and then Oklahoma City with the back-to-back. -back. So we'll, we'll see. Is that how it is with some of these young guys are just waiting to see how they handle the pressure and yeah. what that looks like up here? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when you look at uh, there's quite a few people in front of them. So it's just a matter of understanding, uh, being ready. Um, and so with the injuries... And then also with us getting healthy here, hopefully uh, soon, um, you know, just giving him the opportunity to play, give him uh, a rotation and see how he handles it. I don't know what you did at practice today, but was Luca able to participate in forward? Yeah, we did film. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, we did film. So he participated in film. They all participated. So um, good film session. Uh, it, it's a get what you need day, uh, weights or uh, some shots. We have uh, Josh working, uh, playing one on one with some uh, with contact, so uh, that's a good sign. Um, and Maxie was out there moving a little bit too, so uh, a lot of good things uh, for us on the floor. But uh, Luca participated in the film, and uh, there's nothing for him to do on the floor today. Feeling okay after uh, a pretty physical game last Yeah, I thought his spirit. He was in good spirits. Uh, uh, it was a physical game. I don't know. I don't know if he's sick or not. I didn't. I didn't think he was sick, but uh, he could have a cold. Uh, that I don't know. Well, I guess uh, Dudley was interviewed during halftime by TNT, and he said that he thought that uh, Luca might have gotten hit in the chest, and maybe that was. Why he was out of breath? Did you hear anything along those lines? I, I no, I did. Uh, I heard yes, I did actually did hear that he got hit in the chest, and that could have caused him um, him coughing. Uh, but that, that's all I had got that information. Uh, um, well, when you guys decide to to rest Luca, like you've done three times a season, uh, how does that decision come about? What are you kind of looking for, and, and which people are involved in? Uh, that making that decision? Yeah, uh, well, it starts with Luca. Uh, making that decision, uh, we, we normally talk uh, a week in advance of uh, looking at different uh, scenarios with the schedule, and then uh, we will pencil it in, and then um, as we get closer, we will pin it in. And so, uh, but just the communication between uh, Casey and and, uh, and Luca and myself of how the schedule looks, and then just looking at the load. Uh, the minutes that he's playing, and which would be a good time for him to uh, to sit. Have, has there been any games this season that you had been sold and then erased it? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. Not yet. Not yet. How's he handling that, Jason? How's he handling the load right now, would you say? Uh, he's, uh, I think he's doing great. I mean, we're asking him to do a lot on both ends, defensively and offensively, and uh, it's not easy. It, uh, Nothing is good when you're great is easy. So uh, I think he's handling it well. There aren't any, uh, there aren't any superstars being uh, kicked to the curb this time of year, but how close do you guys pay attention to the waiver wire if something makes sense? Yeah, I think you're always looking at the waiver wire. Um, 
to see if you can better the team. I think that's what management will be doing um, to see who is uh, let go here in the next couple of days uh, for tax purposes or, you know, when you look at uh, just making moves. Uh, I think the management will definitely uh, look at that. Great answer. Great answer. Thank you. How's the official doing? He's doing great. Right. <laughs> is there any part of you as an NBA fan that's uh, disappointed that uh, this is going to be another occasion when Zion and Luca won't face so us? I'm not sure they played against each other in the last two and a half years. Oh, um, yeah, I think at some point it will happen. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't happen tomorrow. You never want anybody hurt. You would love to see. Uh, those two are on the floor at the same time. Zion, uh, before the injury, was playing at a high level, um, and, and, and so was uh, New Orleans. So, unfortunately, with the injury, he's out. Um, but they're still a good team, uh, and they've been able to play without him. Um, and so, you guys found that early. Yeah, we did. We saw that up close. So, uh, we got you know this is a tough stretch for us, and we got to be ready uh, tomorrow. I think last night you said that it, you know, wasn't the team's best performance, but you also said, you know, especially in the first half, that you missed shots that, you know, you would have uh, expected a lot of nights to make. How do you separate out um, what needs to be improved versus what is just kind of a random variance, and you just kind of got to accept it from a game like that? Yeah, I think uh, when you miss some bunnies uh, that we uh, we missed in that first quarter, and also you know, we had a lot of good looks at threes where the ball touched the paint. Um, and uh, we, we didn't make them. Uh, you know, we, we just have to be uh, mentally stronger. Uh, some nights the ball doesn't go for you, so we got to do it on the other end. And uh, unfortunately, we just didn't do that last night against Boston. So in a, in a film study like you had today, I assume you know the focus is not going to be on funny Smith. You know, there's no coaching that, or there's no uh, correction. That just happens sometimes. Yeah, right? uh, yeah, it happens. Uh, See, what has some great looks. Right. Timmy has a great look. Uh, and uh, it, it rims out. It happens. Uh, but how do we move on to the next play? And how do we, you know, make sure that we don't let that affect us? And, and I think uh, that's the next step for us. Some nights the ball's going to go in. Some nights it doesn't. Uh, but how do we? If it doesn't, how do we stay together? How do we stay connected? Um, and I thought last night some of the bunnies that we did must have affected us on the defense again. Uh, I'm going to say Shannon's in charge, uh, but a player had to pick this playlist, so um, I don't know who's out there playing. Maybe this is Josh, uh, uh, but Shannon's in charge of the music. Coach, Ricky Bullock and his struggle shooting the ball this season, um, career low and field goal percentage. His attempts are also down as well. Um, what are the conversations been like with him? What have you seen on the court that's keeping the minutes that he's playing? Yeah, you look at, uh, you know, he's getting some great looks. He's got to continue. He can't turn down the, the open looks. Uh, we talked about that today, um, and we believe that you know he's going to make them. Right? That's just who he is. He's a shooter, uh, and, he def- and he's one of our better defenders. So we all believe that the next shot's going in, that he needs to take more. He can't turn down the open threes. Um, and, and so if you're just going to look at just this year, um, you know you got to work through it as a shooter. You gotta get minutes, and you gotta take the attempts, and so uh, that's why he, he's playing those minutes. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.